So I'm talking about uh, the sports hall. It's a new case study. Uh, the structure is right now being finished. It's within two months we've been going into service. And uh, it's a two-part structure in reality. A large auditorium over, over there and a small additional hall over there. Uh, this one is covered by a rather standard steel structure, and this one is covered by a uh, uh, tendon supported uh, suspended structure. So inside looks like this. This is again the large hall, small hall, the roof over large hall, over the small hall, uh, total structure, and the rendering of the situation in, in the future. Uh, it's quite extensively monitored because of uh, Polish law, which requires uh, monitoring systems on uh, all large structures where con uh, consequences of failure are, are high. Uh, so we, uh, there are accelerator, uh, accelerometers which will be, uh, measure accelerations. Horizontal displacements are measured in bearings, as well as vertical displacements in tendons. Also temperature, strains, and again temperature at the points where strains are measured. Uh, and also meteorological quantities are, uh, are uh, measured and saved. Uh, the vertical displacements uh, are measured in 12 points and uh, additional two control points uh, with uh, vibrating wire sensors uh, because those wire sensors uh, tend to yield the best results in the long term. Uh, the location of the sensors is indicated here. Uh, and the temperature is uh, monitored in very uh, many points because most probably it was the, the least problematic way to, to or the least problematic uh, variable to be measured. Uh, so there are 61 points where temperature are measured and recorded. Mm. And those points are indicated here over the large hall and over the small one as well. <coughs> uh, a small graph of the monitoring. Monitoring is uh, results of the monitoring are recorded every 15 minutes, so there is a quite a lot of data being gathered for all the monitoring stations. And uh, now, uh, what we do intend to do with this information? Uh, how to evaluate the value of information? Uh, uh, the first, we have we've had yesterday quite extensive discussion on that. And uh, the final uh, conclusions uh, were to uh, either push the problem what would be the situation without the monitoring and with the monitoring and this way get some information on the value of information obtained with monitoring. Uh, finally, after, as I told, uh, quite a long discussion, we decided that we will concentrate on one displacement and temperature sensor and uh, do the reliability analysis focused on the critical tendon uh, in the main hall, where the limits they function uh, with uh, model uncertainty, uh, dealing with the uh, uh, snow load, because the snow load is uh, the most critical load in, in the structures of this type. Uh, and also, we'll uh, take a look at the finite element method model uh, resistance uh, as affected by the tendon strength with uh, resistance model un uncertainty uh, uh, with coefficient of variability of 20%. And uh, we think that we may assume that the model uncertainty is similar for snow and temperature loads. Uh, there are two situations. There is no monitoring. And there is another si the second situation with monitoring. So this way, using the monitoring, we can uh, get a better evaluation of uh, the risk a better estimate of the risk uh, in due to <coughs> our uh, structure. Uh, and yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, and then the, the, this, uh, high, this tendon would be repaired or replaced. Uh, yeah, it's necessary. So that's, that's the action, right? Yeah, yeah, so that. In case of one tendon, if you limit uh, your uh, attention to one tendon. Yeah. But uh, in order to get an idea on this model uncertainty, you look at one sensor measuring the deformation. Uh, measuring the displacement, vertical displacement of the tendon. Vertical displacement. Uh, but you need all the, all the temperature sensors in the hall. Because you want to have the response of your, of your hall to uh, change in temperature distribution. 
Uh, we all have the temperature uh, distribution over the whole hole because the temperature is recorded exactly, as yeah. well. As yeah, every every, every, every point, so there is no problem with so that. So you focus on one uh, yeah, just uh, displacement to sensor limit all temperature. We may, as it's recorded, there is no problem yeah. with that. Yeah, good. Well, then we understand the page. Okay. Yes. And maybe I would like to uh, clarify, we discussed a little bit uh, <coughs> during the dinner yesterday, uh, we should a little bit reformulate because on the resistance side we have just a stress in the tender, so there is no uncertainty, but we have uncertainty in the co computation of, lo of load effect, so yeah. given the yeah. snow load, so we will uh, first initially we consider this as a resistance model uncertainty, but it's load effect. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the concept yeah, yeah, yeah. is the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The flow effect of the yeah. And um, maybe uh, a little bit more to the to the risks. Uh, how uh, are you? Have you thought about how to uh, calculate the consequences of failure? Well, I think that is better. Is it possible to do the specification the failure consequence? So it, uh, in my opinion, is that uh, it's not it's, it's not so easy to 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 to, to, yeah. to, to, to access the value of the failure consequence. Yes. So in my, uh, opinion, in my opinion, we should compare the risk. We should update the risk or or failure probability without the from the failure. Consequence. Okay, we, we want to uh, compare costs with costs, actually, because the costs on the side. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. But I, I think that there is also there's space, there is space for assumption, right? This because is for instance, monumental building, so, yeah. so failure consequences will be very, very important. Yeah, of course. But, but uh, if, if this uh, failure of this component leads to a uh, uh, collapse, mm -hmm. then you can from start, okay, you have to rebuild the structure. Then there are maybe persons. However, we can update only the failure probability. Mm -hmm. So we, we, this is a more easy approach. Of course. Without the consequences. Without the consequences. Yeah, but you need to some, make some assumptions for the consequences. Mm -hmm. So, uh, maybe the most easy way, but Actually, for starting, you can have a normalized uh, cost model. So you say uh, the uh, consequences of failure is maybe one, and then in r relation to that, uh, you have uh, the costs for your monitoring system. But you need to have the relation, so this would be the simplest way, uh, maybe as a starting point. And then uh, it's the economic value uh, of this uh, stadium. Uh, so this goes basically to the investment costs and, and the cost of only one sensor, not the whole monitoring system in our analysis. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Very, y yes and no. Um, because we, we assume that only one sensor is analyzed. One sensor for the separation and all the sensors for the sensor Yes, okay, so you quantify the costs which are going into your analysis. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, so this is about the cost model, and then, uh, so it's the economic consequences, but we uh, have for sports hall, uh, there's clearly uh, also the uh, uh, consequences in regard to human safety. Uh, that's a little more uh, hard to quantify, but. Um, Okay. We began with, with the problem of, of uh, dealing with the consequences of closing the hole. Uh, yes. In case yes. of yeah. excessive snow load, because in fact yeah. that that's the reason for the whole monitoring system. Yes. The structure, because the snow load is the, the driving load, and then yeah. for the operator that would be important yeah. to know whether they have to pay for yeah. removing the snow from the rooftop yeah. or just leaving yeah. it as it is, or closing the hole altogether for a okay. given period of time. Okay, but, but but then, but then, but then here we have the actions, uh, which is cleaning the roof or closing the sports hall. Um, and uh, this is the uh, scenario you would like to support with your monitoring information. Well, that's the 
the amusement for the money going whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or the yeah. yeah. But uh, this is fine. Um, and then you have the costs of uh, removing the snow. Uh, this can be found quite easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. It's a cost per, per square meter of the roof. Yeah, yeah. Uh, easy to estimate. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think it's a, it's a very good uh, case study. Uh, very nice. Uh, We're operating this winter, we'll see how much snow we will have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe we won't have snow at all. Yeah, okay. <laughs>